Today we are reading Mama Dug a Little Den. If you want more note learning activities, after this video visit laurenmartinbooks.com to preview 180 days of preschool activities to teach every single kindergarten readiness skill in just minutes a day. Click the link below the video or visit laurenmartinbooks.com. Now let's read Mama Dug a Little Den by Jennifer Ward, illustrated by Steve Jenkins. Mama dug a little den beneath a fallen tree, an earthly home as soft as moss, a nursery for three. A red fox mother digs a maternity den, a place specifically to give birth to her kits. The father fox will supply food to the mother and kits, but he does not enter the den. Mama dug a little den, then tucked herself away to pass the chill of winter time and days so bare and gray. Hibernation is the term for a place that animals use to sleep through the chill of winter. When weather is extreme and food is scarce, in Latin it means tent for winter quarters. And toads create a hibernaculum by burrowing deep in soil. They remain there through the winter, keeping snug below the earth's frost line. Mama dug a little den within a bubbling stream, a rugged lodge of sticks and twigs where we could grow and dream. Beavers build a den or lodge within a water source by harvesting tree branches and logs with their teeth. Entry to the lodge is underwater and leads to dry chambers above. Both parents raise their kits who remain with them for two years. Yearlings help maintain the lodge and babysit new offspring. Mama dug a little den, a furrow in the ground. She hid a nut down in its depths so it would not be found. Red and gray squirrels scatter hoard, gathering and burying nuts in small holes they dig in the ground all over the place. They use their great sense of smell to locate their stashes, digging to retrieve their snacks. If a buried nut is left behind, it may grow into a new tree. Mama dug a little den in tree roots dark and damp, a river house with walls of mud so we could swim and camp. The platypus, an egg-laying mammal, digs a den for nesting and resting near water. Females lay one to three eggs that hatch in about 10 days. Once hatched, the young nurse for up to four months and then swim off to live on their own. Mama dug a little den, a cave of sparkling snow. She kept us close and warm and fed while winds outside would blow. The female polar bear digs a maternity den, a large hole in a snowbank. Here she will live for several months, giving birth to her cubs and caring for them completely on her own. Cubs venture out of their den for the first time at about four months of age and stay with their mother for almost three years. Mama dug a little den to hide out from the sun since baking in the desert isn't fun for anyone. In the Sonoran Desert, one of the hottest deserts in the world, animals must adapt to survive the extreme heat. The desert's Gila monster uses a burrow year-round, remaining in its depths when temperatures are highest and venturing out when the sun isn't too intense. Mama dug a busy den that spanned across the land, a crowded place with many pals and tunnels far and grand. Prairie dog families create a huge network of underground burrows called towns. The burrows contain nurseries for babies, places for sleeping, and even areas they use as a toilet. Other animals inhabit these burrows too, including snakes, owls, and black-footed ferrets, which hunt prairie dogs. The largest known black-tailed prairie dog town covered 25,000 square miles in Texas and was home to approximately 400 million prairie dogs. Mama dug a little den, a place to hide and wait for some great feast to wander by and meet its final fate. Most species of tarantula are burrowers. Although many spiders spin webs to catch prey, tarantulas do something different. They wait inside their burrows for a potential meal, such as a cricket or grasshopper, to pass by and then they ambush it. Mama dug a little den and even with its smell, our home was cozy, snug and safe. We babies loved it well. Skunks sometimes dig a den, but they usually find an abandoned one created by another animal and then line it with leaves and grasses. It will be used year round for resting, hiding, birthing, and raising two to 12 kits. Mama made a little den of hillside brush and boulder. We pounced, we purred, we called it home until we grew much older. A mother bobcat creates a maternity den in a place such as a hollow log, boulder shelter, cave, or depression in a hillside that buffers and protects her from weather and predators. 
There she'll give birth to one to six kittens who remain with her until they are almost a year old. Mama dug a little den along our river's bluff. We stayed inside our grassy nest till I grew strong and tough. Excellent at digging, armadillos create several dens to retreat into when feeling threatened. Females dig a maternity den where they give birth to one to twelve babies, called pups. Pups nurse for two to four months, maturing between nine to twelve months of age. Mama found a little den, a hiding place for sleeping, and each day as the sun would set, we bunnies took to leaping. Eastern cottontail rabbits, unlike their European cousins, do not dig dens. They may find and use an abandoned burrow, or they may scratch a shallow den or farm among weeds and brambles. The den offers shelter for resting and for raising young. Mama dug a sandy den beneath the pale moonlight. She laid her eggs within its depths, then buried them out of sight. A female sea turtle leaves her ocean home to come ashore and lay her eggs, usually at night. She digs a sandy cavity to lay them into, then covers them with sand and returns to the sea. Burying the eggs helps to maintain the proper temperature necessary for hatching and protects them from predators. Perhaps you'll come across a den, dark and deep and wide, and it will make you wonder who or what might be inside. What were your favorite animals in the book? What other animals live in dens? What animals live in nests? Where else do animals make their homes? What are some habitats and the animals that live in each of these habitats? Use paper and drawing materials or the notepad on your phone or device to draw or write your own page of animals in their nests or natural habitat like oceans, tide pools, coral reefs, grasslands and savannas, woodlands, rainforests, Arctic, mountains, and more. Go on a scavenger hunt outside for animal homes. Look for holes or crevices in trees and bark. Find squirrel nests by looking up and seeing if you can find big clumps of brown leaves and tree branches. What nests and dens can you find? For more free ideas and learning activities, visit laurenmartinbooks.com. Click the Amazon link below the video to buy the book or support the author by leaving a review. You can review this book on Amazon even if you don't buy it and it will simply show up without the verified purchase stamp. Thank you for reading with me.